So this is a complete turnaround from the past few videos that I've done. I went out this evening. Shanisha did not go with. <laughs> I kind of wish she had. Um, it was it was cool. I got a text message from my cousin, and she was just bored, and she was about to go to bed, and I was just standing around because I didn't go with anybody in particular. And um, I'm going up to visit her and her family in a week from now. And I haven't been to visit them without my grandfather ever. <laughs> And, like, I'm really excited to see them, but then I think about the holidays and what it's going to be like and how different, how very, very different it's going to feel without having my grandfather there. And I was invited by some really good friends of mine to um, go and visit them for actual Thanksgiving Day because they're nearby and I don't have a lot of time off for work. And I've been going for the past, I think, three or four years and I saw a lot of people tonight that um, were there for me when my granddad was going through all that stuff. And then um, a friend of mine also, I'm sorry I'm being so vague, another friend of mine explained why he wasn't um, more sympathetic during that time, and it's totally fine. I think that um, it's the first time in a while that I'm realizing how... <laughs> Those feelings of being alone and sad and upset or coming at me again. I, I don't really have the urge to call my grandfather anymore whenever something happens that I want to tell him. I wish that he were here and I wish that what happened didn't happen. It kind of feels like a whirlwind and I try not to think about like the, the mental flashes that I have of that whole situation. Um, today I was driving home from work and all I could think about was when he was starting to slip into the coma. And before that, my uncle was there and all of the hospice were around. And my aunt um, was just called that morning, just like I was called that morning, about how, how everything went really downhill. And that's when, you know, it struck me that it was gonna happen. And my aunt was flying down, it's about four and a half, not flying literally, but like driving down. It's about four and a half hours from where she lives. And I don't know, it was so weird for me to think about that and think about how I've been putting it off. And I don't know, I feel like I didn't react to his death the way that I always thought that I would. My biggest fear in life was always him dying. And I don't know if I would say I've conquered it yet. I guess we can say that if I die of natural causes. It's just so hard. I, I feel like I don't have the same relationship with people that I had when he was around. I still talk about him and I still try to keep him in the conversations and I try to, I try to make it seem like he's still here and I know he's not, and it's so hard sometimes when my friends talk about going to see their parents or going to see their family. And I have family, but it's just not the same. I want Diddy to be back, and I know that he can't be back. And the dreams that I had where he'd come and he'd talk to me, they're gone. I, I haven't had one in such a long time. I've been having such weird dreams lately, and I don't understand why. I... Uh, I feel so silly. I should be very happy because everything seems to be going okay aside from that. And everybody needs to take time to mourn and grieve and all of you can tell me to do that a million times over. I don't, I don't know how to explain how I feel. I know that I should probably write this down instead of post this up for all of whomever to watch, but I never really write anything down, and even when I do, when I look back on it, I'm just like, oh my lord, which I guess I could and will do whenever I look back on this, if I ever look back on these videos, but I don't know how to explain it. I just wish that, I just wish that things didn't happen so fast. I thought that I was okay with it, and now I'm realizing that I'm not. I'm looking at a picture of he and I from graduation, and 
he's wearing my tie and my um, button-up shirt. I remember getting him dressed for that day. I miss him so much. I don't think I've ever missed anybody like this before. Nobody has impacted my life the way that he has. And it's sometimes um, easier to kind of, I don't want to say bottle up my feelings because I don't feel like I do that, but I do feel like there's a lot that I haven't shared with a lot of my really close friends about how I'm feeling, how I'm really, really feeling. And I think it's easier sometimes to just talk in front of a camera and know that there's no one around. My roommate and best friend, she's not here right now. I feel like our dynamic has changed a bunch. It's not really her. I think it's all me. <laughs> That's Moo. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm making this video, but I just felt compelled to. <laughs> so... So, other than me feeling like, however it is I'm feeling, it was an enjoyable evening, but now I'm kind of, I feel like I was just punched and all the air is knocked out and I don't even know where to go from here. I thought that doing these vlogs and tweeting and doing everything on Facebook and making new YouTube videos and all that stuff would help me out, and it has. I feel like I'm, I'm just going to be constantly like on my period, off my period, on my period, off my period. Maybe I need to take birth control. Maybe that'll help me get bigger boobs and lose weight and control my moods. Who knows? Okay, well, I guess I am done being whatever it is I'm being. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And to all of the people that I know personally that watch my videos, Especially those of you who have actually like come and talked to me and told me, oh, I watched your video and I appreciated this or I like that or this is how I think about this. Thank you so much for watching and making me feel special for the time that you do make me feel special. And I do feel really loved and accepted by so many people. I just wish that um, I could have the one person back for as long as it takes for me to know that I'm going to be okay and make it and everything. I have no regrets about how everything ended. I said to him everything that I needed to say, but I just wish that I had someone in my life that I could not replace him with, but have a special connection, someone that I could feel like I really could call them at any time and talk to them about anything and know everything about me and have grown up with me in a way that he did and he only saw everything <laughs> so I guess that's just never gonna happen I'm never gonna find anybody that is going to see everything from start to finish so okay I'm tired of saying I'm done and then I just keep going so I'm done <laughs> goodbye good night and make good choices